This tutorial is an introduction to using Rewire with Fruity Loops and Samplitude Music Studio. Press Y to open the Easy Setup. Make sure you have the ACO driver selected. I'm using the Fireface. You can also assign your global recording and playback devices here. Below you can set the MIDI inputs and outputs, and you can also set the plugin directory below that. Click on Advanced to make sure you have the monitoring set to Mixer FX Monitoring. For this you need to have the fader to the far right. Finally, click on the VST DirectX Rewire tab and make sure you have Activate Rewire checked. Click on OK to confirm the changes. Track 1 is selected and click on the MIDI button so it turns yellow. Left click where it says MIDI Out and go down to New Instrument and select Rewire FL Studio. Select Extended Options in the Routing Manager. Choose Multi-Channel Create New Tracks for Instrument Outputs and they need to be all as stereo. Fruity Loops will now open. Now we have 16 stereo tracks of Fruity Loops rewire channels labelled in green. Left clicking on the small arrows at the side of the mixer hides the controls I don't need. That's better. Notice that all the Fruity Loops tracks have been routed to Samplitude Inputs 1 and 2. Fader 1 gives me overall control of the input level. I'm going to use the freeze function to record 4 bars of that mix into Samplitude for further processing. Press I to open the project options and set the project length to 4 bars. This will restrict the length of the track freeze to 4 bars. Left click on the small downward arrow and select Track Freeze. Now the first 4 bars have been rendered as an audio track in Samplitude Music Studio. Make sure you left click on the Fruity Loops plugin to mute it. I'm now going to place the cursor at bar 2 and click on the scissor icon to split that object and the same with bars 3 and 4. You can also use the hotkey T to split objects as well. I'm now double clicking on the second object. This opens the object editor. Select the Pitch, Shifting and Time Stretching tab and under Mode I'm choosing Smooth. I'm raising the pitch of this object by one semitone. You can use the mouse wheel to do this. Click on the right arrow to move to the next object. Choose the Smooth algorithm again and I'm moving the pitch wheel up by two semitones for this object. Finally repeat the procedure for the last object. Smooth algorithm, and I'm lowering the pitch for this object by two semitones. Make sure you click OK to confirm the settings. So let's have a listen. Sounds good. The last object is selected, and Shift left clicking the first object will select all objects in between. I'm now going to freeze these objects to turn them back into a 4 bar object. The pitch shift information will now be rendered into the newly created freeze file. You can zoom in or out horizontally by left clicking on the plus or minus symbols down here. I'm using the hotkey Ctrl D to quickly duplicate the objects. You can also use the menu item Object Build Loop Object. You can then drag the bottom right hand corner out as far as you need.
Anyway, that was a quick look into how you can integrate Fruity Loops using Rewire with possibilities for further processing inside Samplitude. In part two, I am going to assign multiple outputs from Fruity Loops and use the track freeze function to render them to audio.